In this video, I am going to walk you through how to create a widget for your Google Meet so that you can have a consistent Meet link for your main classroom, as well as any breakout rooms that you want to use for this year. So I'm gonna start by going into a different course shell because I want to show you how to set this up. Now that we're in a course shell, this should look pretty much like the one that you get at the beginning of the quadmesters. So we're gonna go into first teacher support and then edit course. And then from here, we're gonna go into widgets. And now we're going to create a widget. We're going to give it a name. It's a good idea to call it just like Google Meet or um, something that helps you to remember what is in your particular widget because you're going to need that name in order to find it later. Once you've given it a name, you are going to go over to content. And then from here, what you get is you just get an HTML editor. So you can go in and enter your Google Meet links here. Now, if you click on the quick link button here, then you can add links from pretty much anything within your course shell. So if you scroll all the way down, there is a third party link to a Google Meet. So if you click on that, it's going to insert that Meet into your widget. And if you want to change the text in this meet link, if you just click anywhere within the link, it's going to highlight it for you. And if you go back and click on the quick link button again, then you get the properties for that meet. So don't do anything with the URL. You want the URL to stay consistent, but maybe you want to change the title to main classroom. And then once you're happy with that, you're going to hit update. So you can follow the process through and create as many Google Meet rooms as you want for your main classroom, as well as your breakout rooms. And you're just going to keep doing this over and over again until you get the number you want. So I'm going to click on this second Meet here, click on the link again, and then I'm going to call this one breakout one breakout room one. Okay, and so you can go and keep doing this process and keep adding them until you have enough breakout rooms there. When you're done, I'm just going to leave it at the two for now. So this video is not super long. And I am going to hit save and close. All right, so now you've got that custom widget listed in here. You can see Google Meet. If you want to ever go back and make any changes, you just have to click on the pencil icon here and it will take you back into the editor. Now to get that widget onto your home page, you're going to go to home pages. And by default, you have the system home page. So if you scroll down, you can see that this one is the default home page here. If you click the drop down arrow, you're going to want to make a copy of it. And then if you scroll down, you, you'll find that copy. So if you click on there, then my suggestion is give it a name. So maybe you know, call it your last name or call it the course or whatever is going to help you find your particular homepage that you are working on. Um, there's lots of great little features in here that you can mess around with, but I am not going to cover that in this video because this is about creating Google Meet widgets. But basically then what you can do is come over here and maybe you want it in that side panel like I had. So you're going to go to add widgets and then you can search or filter by custom widget. And then you can see my Google meet one here. So I'm going to check that off and click add. If you want to move the position where it is, you can just drag and drop it. So I'm going to move it right up to the top because that is exactly where I want my students to see it. And then I'm going to save and close. Okay, from here, one more step, 
you have to make your new home page active. So if you click on the drop down arrow here, you can change it from the default to the one that you just created. So there is my Johnson one. And I am going to click apply. And then if we go back to the home page, you'll see that widget right up at the top here. So it's kind of a great way to create those breakout rooms and have them consistent for the year. And you only have to do this and set this up once. You can also copy home pages and widgets over to other course shells. So you can do it once and then copy those items over to save you a bit of time.